Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of sine theta plus cos theta upon the root of sine 2 theta. So let's begin. So as you can see in the hint given behind in, in the textbook, I'm going to be writing the denominator in, in a different way. We can write it as 1 minus 1 minus sine 2 theta. Because it's the same thing, you know, when the bracket opens, so it's 1 minus 1 plus sine 2 theta. Now, as we've done in our previous videos, I'm going to be writing this 1 as sine square theta plus cos square theta. So let's write that down. So this becomes sine square theta plus cos square theta. And we can expand sine 2 theta, 2 theta and write that as 2 sine theta cos theta. So this becomes sine theta plus cos theta, sorry this is minus, sine theta minus cos theta the whole square upon root 1 minus sine theta minus cos theta the whole square. So if we keep sine theta minus cos theta as t, then we get the numerator. Sine theta minus cos theta equals to t. So d, dt by t theta is equal to cos theta plus sine theta. Substitute this in the integral. We have sine theta plus cos theta as the numerator. Root 1 minus t square into dt upon cos theta plus sine theta. Because d theta becomes dt by cos theta plus sine theta. Now the integral becomes dt upon root 1 minus t square. And we know that the differentiation of sine inverse t would be 1 upon root 1 minus t square, which is why the integration of 1 upon root 1 minus t square is a sine inverse t. So sine inverse t and we have t as cos, uh, sine theta minus cos theta. So the answer is sine inverse sine theta minus cos theta plus c. And that's the final answer. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.